Hey YouTube, opinion and review here. And before I start this tweet review, just want to let you guys know that my buddy the Hacker 13 is having a massive giveaway, his 10,000 subscriber subscribers giveaway, and I'll have the link to his channel in the description down below so you can go and check out his giveaway. He always helps me out. He asks me to help spread the word, so I'm helping him out. And it's about five items, I think. I think if I remember correctly, it's about five items. iPod Touch, iPod Nano, couple iTunes gift cards. Just check it out. It's a super giveaway, and he's, he does nice reviews. So with that being said, let's get into the review. This one is called Custom Grid. It's in the Big Boss repo, $4.99, and it's by Adrian Hamelink. I think that's his name. <laughs> But uh, nothing was added to your Springboard after you install it. Basically what it allows you to do is set a maximum of 12 rows and 12 columns on your Springboard and in folders. And you can also hide page dots etc. So after you install it you go into settings to, to configure everything. And as you can see we have a couple of settings right here. We have springboard, rows and columns, you can set that to a maximum of 12 as I said before, folders the same thing and you can also hide page dots and labels. So now we're going to go in here into rows and we're going to test it out, we're going to do 12 rows and 12 columns obviously, you're not going to do 12 rows and 12 columns because it's going to be too clustered but we're going to do it for the review and we're going to do inside folders also and we're going to do 8 and hide everything and then we're going to just going to go and hit respring after we're finished so after our iDevice resprings we're going to go in and as you can see some of the apps that I already had on my springboard they already went up into like a buying cluster already because they're filling out the rows on top and I have gridlock installed so that you'll see spacing in between them so I, I had couple I had games inside this folder but I already took them out as you can see so the games are all clustered up right here we're just gonna go and highlight them and you can also see that the names of everything are not there because we hide those and the page dots are not there also they're normally right there by my slider so let's go into this game folders and just select a couple of these games So I already selected a bunch of games and we're going to go over to this last springboard just select a couple more. And as you can see I already had some right there already so I have a multi icon mover if you're wondering why I can select like that and I'm just going to go and touch my home button and boom it's a ton load of icons I can't find cut the rope where is it where is it <laughs> but yeah that's basically what this tweak allows you to do it's a simple tweak allows you to set 12 rows and, and 12 columns on your springboard and inside your folders you can also hide all the labels no names there and the page dots simple tweak 99 cents it's a matter of preference if you want to check it out or not with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day.